Hello guys, this is my planner setup video. I have a VDS Vanderspeck personal size planner. I'm not quite sure what this model is with this leather only because I bought it actually on Instagram from a friend who was just had not bonded with it and wanted to sell it and I just snatched it up because it looks so much like the Philofax Austerly and that's the one I really wanted and so I took this one instead and I am in love with it. Um, so yes, and I actually couldn't find it on the, the Vanderspeck website, so this is just my setup video. We'll get started. So as I said, it is the personal size, and I have had to kind of train it a little bit with uh, the spine, but it actually lays quite nicely just by itself if I have uh, bent it a couple of times. So that's not too bad. Um, as I said, I just moved into this about a week ago. I was using a ARC junior size planner before which actually is quite larger than this one um, but I kind of like this size better it was hard to move in but once I did it was wonderful um, I have this little card over here coffee by the pound that is from my um, pen pal named Emily and I love the things that she sends me she's always great and encouraged me to travel and do different things she lives in Germany so that's super fun um, I actually get a lot of my ideas from another YouTuber. Her name is Erin Joy. If you haven't seen any of her videos, please go visit her page because they're amazing. And she always has great ideas in the neatest handwriting ever. I can't have that. As you can tell, I have some kind of circly kitchen scratch, so that's okay. But um, I just keep, um, I haven't decided what to use these pockets for only because they are kind of narrow. Um, I don't use this for a wallet, I just use it for planning purposes and writing purposes to keep track of different things and stuff like that. So I don't have any cards to put in here. I might just um, figure something out to put that later, but I just have these full adhesive sheets, um, post-its from the store. I have uh, my little key card for when I do um, my planning. Uh, it's just a little card from the um, uh, Michaels. And then I have these little post-it notes that I also got from another pen pal. Uh, her name is April and she loves um, owls and so do I. So she sent these to me and they're super cute. So I just keep them in there for when I want to use them along with that. And then back here are some stamps for when I do um, continue to write my pen pals. That way when I'm out and about and I'm going to um, go into the post office, I can just slap one on and put it right in there. And that way they don't have to wait longer than it already does to make me to write a letter. So um, I did my own dividers. Um, the, because I bought this planner from somebody else, they didn't come with the dividers or anything that the Vanderspeck gives you, uh, which is totally fine because I don't like plain dividers. I just used um, some thicker paper, like a cardstock kind of, and I uh, glued some nice uh, paper to the front and to the back, and um, this is what it looks like. And I just have like a nice tab over here, and I did get them laminated a couple days ago at um, Staples. Wonderful idea because now I can use it for a dashboard, and my sticky you notes know, just stick to it just great. So. That's fun um, to use it for that because I don't really like, well, I haven't had a dashboard as in like an actual fly leaf before, but uh, it's nice to just have it as part of this and to be nice and stiff and not flopping around. So my first tab here, I have this at the back, another just um, scrapbooking piece of paper that I glued to the back. Um, and then I made a pocket uh, myself. Actually, this is a double-sided pocket, if you can see that. Um, this actually was a uh, divider from like a regular three ring binder and I just um, cut it on this side to match the size of a piece of you know paper for the personal size and kept um, this this is the closed end side for the actual pocket so it worked out quite nicely just punched my holes in it and there we go now I can just stick reminders or whatever inside of here uh, this is probably the gonna be used for like if I have you know bills that need to be paid or just papers that I need to keep in like my schedule for work or something like that we'll go right in here um, for now and then this is something that I'm kind of using is for a dashboard again this paper is from one of the dividers that I just cut to size and I have um, some post-it notes on here just different kinds that I really liked um, I got these from Daiso there's a store down the street from my old house that I used to go to, so I enjoyed those. I also get these from Daiso. They're just the clear um, 
page markers that you can write on and stick on different things. And those are the colors that I like, so I put them on there. Um, so the first divider is more just of things that are that I can use first. This is my second divider. Again, um, just some paper that I uh, glued together. And this is my um, finance section. I don't really care if you guys see my bills. That's not a big thing. Um, I have this all here. I get paid on the 1st and the 15th of the month. I work full-time at a bookstore. So, um, and this is just how I do it. I have you know, my check total and then the difference of how much I have to spend for that time. So then that's kind of like my play money that I get to do with. And anything that I... Um, actually do extra like if I wanted to buy a book or something like that I would just write that down here these are like um, I had some extra grad money so I put that there and then I my parents are helping me pay off some loans for school so that's really nice of them and I put that there as well so I could keep kind of track of that and that's super helpful and this is just something that I made myself you know um, just made a, a little table on the computer in Excel and worked all that out so it looks quite nice, I think, that I just, I don't know, it worked for me, so that's what I do for that. And this is um, how much I have in my savings, and I move over every month, and I just moved out. So as you see, I just didn't save anything that month. Um, and then this is the total on my loans that I have that I am keep paying off, and I just keep the total here so that I can actually know where I am in my payments and how much I still have to pay, that type of thing. You know, when you graduate college, you have to worry about all that. This is another divider that I have. As you can tell, I don't have any of my dividers named, only because this is kind of the same setup that I had in my um, arc planner. So I know it quite well, and I don't really um, worry about where certain things are because I know it. And um, I don't really like tags and stuff on the ends. I think it looks kind of tacky. So I like it just more clean and sleek. Um, as you can tell, I'm alternating the paper. I use the same ones on this side. So I made this on my own. This is actually a picture from the um, updated version, I guess, of Pride and Prejudice, and not the BBC version, the one that we made. This is Kira Knightley, um, and this is just some scrapbooking little things that I put on top and made it. It's more just for me, because I love that movie, and I love her, and it's very inspirational to me, so I keep it right here. This is just kind of where I keep my planner open to, as just like when I'm at home and I just like relax and I keep it open and it's nice, it keeps me sane. And this is a quote that I absolutely love, so I have it right there on the back of it. This is one of those Project Life cards that I absolutely love. You are my um, sunshine. And then on the back, actually, I don't think this is Project Life. This is from Target um, and that, that brand that's at Target, forgive me, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, and this is just the picture of my boyfriend right here on the back so that I can, uh, when I'm planning, just remember to he's always um, there for me and I love him and he's amazing so that's that again another little uh, card this one I'm pretty sure this is Project Life um, from the, their journey one and this is a quote from a author that I really really enjoy it just helps to remind me to keep writing this um, is my morning routine my morning my night and my daily tasks that I do have to do I got this again from Erin Joy from her videos. It's super helpful just to keep this open and know that if and nothing gets done in the day, like these are what I really, really need to get done. Um, and to have just constantly thinking about in my mind um, to just, you know, relax and enjoy your day. And if anything, like this is what's important. So that's nice to have. And then I do have my weekly things that, uh, chores and stuff that I need to get done. And uh, so that I can have a clean room and you know things like that and then the monthly goals that I've set for myself that I want to try to do every month and then monthly things that I need to do like wash wash my bedding and different things like that wash my car um so that every time I plan I can just take these two uh pages out and then plan my you know month or my weeks and my days and then uh, put these back in here so they're more just so that I have on hand what I really really need to do um and so that's nice and I have some room to keep going if I need to um, for that and then this um, these are just post uh, post-it little uh, flags that I use for the sides I don't use that A to Z uh, filing cabinet only because I don't have that much in here and 
I tried the A to Z thing and it was just like, I didn't know what to file each thing under. I didn't know where I would look. And I almost got just anxiety over trying to figure out where they would go. So um, I just did this and it seems to be working quite well for me. I think actually Erin Joy did that first, but I did it too, but I, this what, I've always been doing this. So that was um, just something that I do. This is the stuff that I wanna do throughout the year. These are things um, that I'm working on for reading, books I want to read, and then I can add on a couple. Um, I am a writer, so I need to constantly be reading and constantly be writing, uh, which is a thing for writers. We don't always write, <laughs> so that's bad. But uh, these are my goals for this, and then goals for my money and things to do, which I've mostly already got all these done. I just need to lose some weight. So that's great, and I'm only halfway through the year, so that's cool. Um, again, I just made that myself in a Word document and put it out. This is weekly planner tips um, from a website. Uh, I honestly, if you would like me to, I can look it up and put it in the uh, description box for you guys. Um, this just kind of keeps, whenever I am kind of like lost and just kind of don't know, what to do or have like anxiety about my week and all the things that are coming up so because I do work a 40 hour job and sometimes um, I just graduated but before I was in school I graduated in May so um, yay me I uh, got my bachelor's but um, before there was just almost like too much to plan for and I was always like what do I put in and where do I start and stuff so this always helped me try to keep focus you know write weekly goals um, on your page, schedule your tasks that you need to reach these goals, uh, keep a task list, Let's see. write all appointments into your planner even if they're uncertain, which is a key thing because you know schedules are always changing so that was a full, and then arrow over undone tasks, which um, I like this the bullet system, a lot of people are using that too as well, and that kind of really ties in with that, making sure that like whatever you don't get done, that you uh, arrow over to the next day so that you do get it done, or whichever day that it works out for you. Keep your planner open in a prominent place. This one I never did for a while, and I realized that I wasn't using my planner because it just was never in sight. It was always in my purse or in my backpack, and I wasn't using it. So this was really helping me uh, now to actually use this. <laughs> um, in a good way and then highlight important events and deadlines and due dates um, I sometimes do that it just depends on my how I'm feeling this is my wish list of just things that I want everybody's got that rascal cart I think is how you say it and I really like it I want it in the teal um, and then this is my big wish uh, just big th bigger things that you know cost a lot of money um, hopefully get some of those for my birthday. This is my pen pal info. Um, obviously some addresses that you just don't need to see on there. Um, I just use some stamps on some post-it notes to make these um, look fun. And this is books I want. I have um, an aspiration to read a lot of different books and so these are maybe ones that I've read and I don't have like Invisible Man I have read that one I just don't have it and I would really like to buy it because um, I rented it for class or something like that whatever or just books that I've read that I haven't actually got or I haven't read but I would like to get my hands on there on that, that list as well um, these are authors that I do want to do a little bit of studying with um, Again, I am a writer, so I do have to like keep this kind of stuff on hand to be able to um, study their writing and keep their information flowing throughout as I can um, incorporate it into my own and improve where I am. And then this is a book list that um, I emailed some of my professors before I graduated and asked, you know, what authors and books should I be reading after I graduate? Um, so I just asked them and that's just the things that they came up with, which as you can tell, they gave me quite a list. So that was two of my professors. Thank you guys so much. And now I have some direction afterwards. So that's great. This is just some blog ideas. I do have a blog that I just, <laughs> I had it for a couple of years, but I just want to resurrect it because I have not posted on it for like two years and I really enjoyed it. I just never had time for it. So I'm um, thinking about that, maybe doing that. Um, different ideas and things. Maybe add some planner into that. I'm not quite sure um, if I just want it to be personal or a planner blog. I haven't figured that out yet. Now this is a page for my spoken word. Um, 
ideas. I have it on a separate sheet of paper that I had in my ARC. I just haven't transferred it over yet, so I just kept the page there so that I could uh, put the tab down here and it matched with all the other ones. So I do have that. I just have to transfer that over, which I haven't yet. Um, so that's there for the file. My next tab is my scheduling one. Um, this is my month on two pages. Honestly, this is just the printout. I had um, a a planner thing from Etsy in which I enjoyed, it, but it fit in only into my ARC planner. So this is just the file effects printouts from the uh, file effects blog. And they seem to be working just nice, but some washi on the side. These are my work schedules for the week. Uh, I do have some birthdays coming up, including my own. Turning 22, awesome. I'm gonna sing that Taylor Swift song all day long. <laughs> and then this is my week. So um, I know everybody does the, uh, I really like the fish inserts, but they seem a little bit intense to me. Um, I really like the idea of them, but I, um, I don't think that they would quite work for me. I'd like to try the trial maybe, but this is how I've kind of incorporated them into my section. So I do have this just as a flat two pages, which is nice that I have this open and not kind of flopping out on the side. Um, and then, I have my week like this. So I do have it kind of like the DIY fish that's a fold out. I just um, put some scrapbook paper here with some washi for my weekly. And um, on the back side of it, it's just blank. And I just uh, paper clipped that to this. And this is what I have for the inside. I just have some um, scrapbooking paper here. This is a Project Life card that I've just put some washi on top and put my monthly goals on so that I can scratch them off as I go. Um, these are the goals that I have on the other page in my um, my weekly and monthly and all that stuff. And then these, uh, so that it's not just over there, but I do have it over here as well to be able to scratch off um, every month. I'll make a new one of these just, you know. And then this is a, a Project Life divider that I just cut down and put Grade Day on, which, as you know, as you can tell, um, is a Erin Joy thing. I just love her things and they've just helped me out so much as I try to plan my week and get ideas and do different things. This is my work schedule. This is what the week looks like. This is just how I made it. These are the dates and the days of the week as well as my work schedule and then like what's happening throughout the week. This has worked for me. Um, and so this is my um, printout for my daily. I made this myself out of a kind of a collaboration of a different, all these different like Pinterest ideas and different Etsy plan pages and stuff like that. So I just have the date. This is like my schedule for the day, including my work schedule, things I have to do. Uh, these were originally open. They weren't uh, closed. This was yesterday. So um, a day undone will be like, this is today. Um, I did go to work today, so I would fill that in. And then I am at my Scott, at Scott is my boyfriend, and I didn't have Bible study today, so I could just cross that off because that is what I did. And I was going to wash my car today, but I didn't actually get to that. Um, this is just where I would fill out, you know, like what money I spent for the day. These are the goals that I have. I'd like to write 500 words, washes my face, which I do with a lot of acne, so I have to keep on that. I have a gratitude journal that um, I would like to just keep writing in every day and not forget about it. So that's good. Um, and then I also am trying to keep track of like what books I'm reading at the same time. So I have that there. And then um, if I read my Bible that day, I'll just fill in that little slot. And this is writing. So I'm trying to keep track of uh, where I am in my, I'm writing a book. So um, like what scenes I wrote that day where I was going so that when I pick up when I start writing the next day I kind of know what my thoughts were and I can start uh, keep going on the same um, rift I guess uh, so this is what a full day looks like I had all these things to do like laundry and figure out my bank I was I, I was at home all day long I wasn't at my boyfriend so I transferred money I read a loveology I didn't read my bible so I didn't fill that in but, um, and then I wrote a page and a half and this is just kind of where I was when I was writing. So I like to just have, I would put this in the back, um, or just take it out once I'm done. 
with that day, but I usually just would file it towards the back um, of the day of the week so that I still have it on file if I need to um, look at some information and just keep it on file. Um, but I just like to have my week open like this and then see the day at the same time. I don't really need to see the month at the same time only because I don't do a lot of forward planning or anything like that. So I don't need this as much as I need to see like what my schedule is for work, what I'm gonna have time to do at the same time. So I like this and it works good for me um, as well as having my monthly goals there. So if I'm done with all my stuff for the day, I can see right here what I might need to tap or what I could tackle um, and keep going with. So this is just like my weekly days. Um, this wouldn't be covered because these would be gone if I was on a different day. So I just try to keep it uh, done in a week at a time. Um, I don't really do that much ahead of time and I probably will um, start to dress these up with like some washi or something like that. I just kind of made this for this. So um, I'm liking it and it's working for me. And then I have my last, basically my last divider, just um, one I made again out of scrap inking paper. I messed up right there, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then this is just some paper that I ripped out of a, a notebook and I have, and some paper that I've cut down to size that I'm using for the uh, different pages and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then this is just the end of my planner. This is just a sheet that I kind of have in the back to like help uh, with the pages bending um, at the bottom of the rings. And another page right here. This one acts pretty bent down here from the it sitting down here in the ring. So I just keep that one down there. And this helps when I'm like writing on my papers. It gives me a rough, uh, like a hard surface in the back so that I don't have to be like bumpily writing on the leather or anything like that. I kind of have that to, to press up against, which is nice. So that's why I keep that there. And this is again to protect all the pages. And so this is what the back of the planner looks like. I just have. Um, some washi right here. This is mainly what I use on the inside of my planner. I really like this flower one right here and this script one. Those are my favorites. And then this one just kind of matches both of them. So I have that one there as well. I have these market dots that I use for when I have schedule changes or I have to wear a different uniform or something like that. I usually keep that in. Or if I have a due date coming up for something, I have that there. So I use those. And then back here, I have just a pocket, which this is just a note for my mom. She actually, um, put it on my front door of my work right before I was opening, which is kind of embarrassing, but it was still nice that she did that for me. So if you guys have any questions about anything, I would love to answer it for you. Don't be shy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope uh, some things were helpful in there for anybody who is having trouble with their planner or trying to, just trying to figure things out. All right. Have a good day guys.